when you get the zip folder and you open it up you'll see there's two files this one here that says input is what you'll send to the participants and this is the one you're going to do the sweepstakes in you'll email the input sheet to the various participants and when they open it up this is what they'll receive just some instructions and then a place here where they can make their predictions so what you'll see what's important here is they have to enter their name and then for each match enter the score and how many tries team A and team B will achieve as you're entering these the table will be updated and the various winners based on what you've selected will be identified so over here I've captured one so you'll see we've got all the results we think is going to happen and over here we put in this result when you've made all your predictions you'll be able to look at the table and see that you agree with that and for the purposes of the sweepstakes it'll identify what your selection who you think the winner is going to be is there going to be a grand slam so in this case there was none triple crown no wooden spoon who they are all the person all the participant needs to now do is save this and send it back to the organizer for the organizer initially once they receive the emails from the participants so this email here it needs to be included in the master files you'll see we've got player one two three etc to show you how to do that it's as simple as you go to the participants file you click on cell f10 all the way down to l80 so don't worry about the hidden rows you copy it you then go into your master file go for example to player one right click over here and paste as values and that's all you need to do this is now recorded that player one and their name will come through if they've em entered it correctly it's predictions and so on you'll then enter player two player three etc and then you're ready for the tournament to begin now as the tournament progresses all you need to do is come to the file when you open it up it'll do it normally I'm just going to show you now you'll see here there's a sheet called actual results when you open up this will automatically happen but for example when I refresh it it'll go and get all the results so as the matches are played the results will come through and this then feeds through so you'll see on this one here you can see that these have turned black because these are now actual results you can see their predictions the points they score and this will go and update the various charts and rankings and that's all you need to do there are some choices you need to make up front so over here on the instruction sheet you'll see it specifies how many points you want for the various options so if you don't like one of these you can just make it zero and you can also decide if the total scores should continually update themselves so if you say yes show the total scores only after the final match then only after the very final match will it take into account was there a triple crown winner etc if you say no what will happen is that continuously it'll be assessing what the person predicted for the winner and the wooden spoon and after every match it'll allocate the points so the points will go a lot will go up and down as the results affects the table